You know, I came in sort of as a general studies major. I had really had no clue what I wanted to study at first. And so I knew I had a keen interest in foreign languages. And so I enrolled in courses in Spanish and Arabic and Latin as well. But then I really, you know, I found a really strong interest in Arabic. I mean, it was sort of the whole morphological symmetry of the way it was written that really attracted me. And then through that, Dr. Sally Goma, who is a professor of uh, English literature in Arabic, she recommended that I take political science courses, uh, particularly as it relates to international mm -hmm. relations, as it pertains to the Middle East and South Asia. And so then I started taking courses and I realized, you know, wow, this is pretty interesting and cool stuff. And then so I started, you know, really having a keen interest in learning about other countries, you know, and how they're weighed comparatively, how you look at both countries' political systems, particularly in the Middle East, because it's, you know, a wide range of Absolutely. political systems from, you know, autocracies to, the, you know, theocracies. And it's one of those things where I really developed an interest in that. And it really started with the language. How has the university mission impacted your life here uh, at Saudi? You know, sort of going off the Mercy Mission Statement, you know, we're looking to sort of build society that's harmonious, just, and merciful. And what I'm really keen on is focusing on these disadvantaged populations worldwide, those who are d disadvantaged politically, economically, mainly economically, who really don't have the resources, who really need significant help. Specifically, you know, I saw this when I was in Jordan. They're experiencing a significant water crisis, which I had done research on. Mm -hmm but also it, it's mainly impacted by the refugee population. Mm -hmm. And the thing about the refugee population is they're moving to these countries, and you know this, around the Middle East to seek refuge first of all, but to seek better opportunity. I mean, they can't go back and they're fleeing a civil war. So it's one of those things where if we can help them as international students and create change, we'll be able to assist these disadvantaged populations, right? Integrate the Mercy Mission, mm -hmm by ultimately creating society that is harmonious, just, and merciful. And that's what Salve prides itself on. And, uh, you know, I hope to take And I can definitely add to that as an international student and as someone who's like came from a different, completely different background and culture. I think Salve kind of embraced all of us, regardless of our ethnicity or race or sexual orientation. Of course. And I think that's what makes the mission really uh, real. So where are you going from here? So, uh, after Salve, I will continue on to graduate school. I'm going to head off to Columbia University in the fall, where I will study a master's in linguistics and international education. And I really hope to take that degree and sort of work abroad, uh, particularly with refugees. I mean, you really just inspired me because, you know, you came over here sort of working with refugees. I mean, you came over here on a student visa but you were able to work with them and I sort of saw that through you. And so, when I went over to Jordan, they had a bunch of internships provided and I said, okay, you know, which one am I going to choose? So then I was like, okay, teaching English to Syrian and Iraqi refugees. And so I was like, you know, this would, this would be perfect. I mean, this would fit my interests because one, I like teaching. I really want to go into the field of academia. And because, you know, watching you work with refugees and, you know, you going into Salve as a social work major really sort of just inspired me. Um, and so, I really hope to take that you know, through my master's degree and utilize that and working with refugees in the future, whether it be in you know federal government agency like UNHCR or sort of just working in the field of academia. I mean, when I go off to New York, I'd hope to get an internship sort of working with disadvantaged youth groups, particularly from multi-ethnic backgrounds. And I sort of hope to work with them and provide them with the necessary literacy skills so they're able to grow and sort of matriculate. Mm -hmm. Uh, within you know local communities here in the United States, and so they have opportunity to join the workforce, or they have opportunity to receive a proper education, and it's something that's important. I mean, especially yeah. today. i um, been really, as I said, I've been really impressed of the journey that you have accomplished, and I've been really lucky to have the chance to meet you and get to know you. And I have really no doubt that you have a really bright future, and you're going to bring change to any communities that you're going to work with, whether it's refugees or any other uh, community in Tula, because I really see uh, that you're going to make a tremendous change in people's life. I appreciate that.